and welcome back. Now, Viva 2, an event to preserve New Mexico's culture and heritage, has joined with the Valencia County Fair to help local markets. Now, this year, they are attempting to break a Guinness World Record by creating the world's largest tamale. Here with more on how they are going to do that is Wayne Trujillo, founder of Viva 2 and owner of the Los Chavez Cafe, LJ Thompson. Thank you guys so much for joining us this morning. Perfect. So, uh, Wayne, I'll start with you. Tell me a little bit about Viva 2. Well, Viva 2 is a three-day celebration of New Mexico heritage and culture. I mean, it's native dancers, Latin dancers, gunfight reenactments, 20 bands. It's just a really big celebration. Nice. And when does this kick off? It kicks off August 21st, 2nd, and 3rd. Gotcha. Is this an annual thing? Yes, this is our second year we're doing this. Gotcha. And there's a very special uh, event going on here, LJ. Tell me a little bit about what you guys are out to conquer. Well, this year we're going to conquer the world's largest tamale. Uh, the record stands at 66 feet now down from Mexico, and we're going to go ahead and break it at 120. Wow, so how do you even go about doing that? What are the first steps? The first steps are coming up with something to cook 120 foot tamale in. Mm -hmm. So we uh, partnered with a, a great sponsor, ABC Seamless, out of uh, Seamless Gutters out of Albuquerque. And uh, they fashioned this uh, prototype for us, which will be 120 feet long. We, uh, we cook a 10-foot tamale in it uh, every Saturday at the Los Chavez Cafe in order to prove our theory. Nice. I like this. Now, tell me a little bit of the ingredients going into this. Well, Guinness only asks for masa to be part of the tamale, but we're New Mexicans. Mm -hmm. And we do everything a lot better mm -hmm. than ev everyone else. So this year, we're going to have calabacitas. Uh, for a portion of it. We'll have green chili and cheese for a portion of it. And we'll also have a dessert section of it being uh, sugar, cinnamon, and raisins. Wow, that sounds awesome. Now, is there anyone helping you with this? Any other, I'm sure you got a team, but any other businesses getting in yes, on this? Yes, we, we do. We, uh, uh, bueno Foods saw the vision. They stepped up and they are providing all of the ingredients for mm -hmm. this, along with uh, thousands of dollars of gutter from ABC Seamless Gutter. Nice. A lot of uh, going into this. And I wanted to uh, briefly mention, too, with the event happening at the end of August, is there a cost to get in, Wayne? Yeah, it's $7 a day, or you can okay. get a three-day pass for 15 bucks. Gotcha. Now, when it comes to the tamale, eating it, do you have volunteers? Can we sign up to help you guys? What's the process there? Part of the, uh, the world record uh, requirements are that it has to be prepared, cooked, and eaten all in the same day. So, of course, the first people that get to eat, eat this is El Rancho de los Niños, the children that are benefiting from the entire event. Mm -hmm. And then the public gets to eat the rest of it. That's so cool. How long do you think it's going to take you guys to make this tamale? We'll have it prepared within an hour, and we'll also have it cooked within two. So we're only looking under a four-hour mm -hmm. total time for it for the event. So it'll happen very fast. Yeah, that does sound fast. <laughs> now, when it comes to the record, I know you briefly mentioned it. Tell me again, what's the current record and what are you guys out to achieve? The current record is under 70 feet, and we are going to break 120 feet on this. Every year, if we're beaten, Viva and the Tamale, we will smash that record. We will break it and double it every year. Oh That's, my God. We're going to keep it here in New Mexico. <laughs> yeah, I like that. LJ, that sounds so good. And again, Wayne, tell me, is there more information? Do you have a website or a Facebook that we can head to um, for the event happening? Yes, ma'am. You can go to www.vivalanm.com. Um, you can just contact us at 505-357-9427. Look up the Los Chavez Cafe and just come out and have a good time. Sounds good. Thank you guys so much for joining us, LJ and Wayne. I'm excited for this. We'll continue to bring you updates when that does happen, but we'll be right back.